In this video, we'll be going over the different XB development boards manufactured by Digi. So here we have the XBIB interface board, also known as the XBIB development board. Here in the bottom, you can see we have a power adapter that accepts between 6 and 20 volts, and then some LEDs. This yellow LED means there's data coming out of the USB port. Green means there's data going into the USB port. And then this red LED is your association slash power LED. These three green LEDs on the right are the RSSI LEDs. They activate when data is going into your antenna on your radio. So when your radio is receiving data, you'd usually see these three green LEDs lit up as well as this data out LED. In this corner, we can see some buttons. This one is your power reset button. This one is your commissioning push button, which is used on some XP models. And then all four of these can also be configured as user input buttons, which is useful for testing IO line passing. Over here, we have a loopback jumper header. If you put a jumper on this, you can use it for loopback testing using XCT's range test tool. Here we have a set of pin headers, which map to the same pin headers on the XB socket. Here we have some LEDs. This top one is the sleep LED. Here we have some pin headers for soldering on an antenna connector. This is for usage when you have a surface mount module with an RF pad connection. Over here you can see a resistor. If you remove this resistor and then populate these two headers right here, you can use that for current measurement to the board. And then on the back side of the board you can see there's some labeling for each of the different pin headers as well. Here we have the XB Grove development board. It comes in through hole and surface mount versions. They have slightly different layouts, but they all have the same features. All right, so you can see on this board here, we have our micro USB adapter. Then over here is a set of headers. Two of these headers must be populated for a UART connection. And then if you move this jumper over to populate the other pair of headers, that's used for loopback testing. Over here we have a potentiometer, which is used for analog digital converter testing. Over here we have a set of buttons. We have the reset button, and then the commissioning push button, and then the user button. Both the user button and the user LED over here connect to DIO4. We also have the rest of our LEDs here. We have our RSSI LED, a sleep LED, association, data coming out of the USB port, and data going into the USB port. And then here around the edges, these headers are used with Grove accessories published by Seed Studios. Here we have our newest development board, the XBIB-C development board. This one is notable because it comes in surface mount, through hole, and Micromat version, so this is our only one that has a Micromat form factor. As the name denotes, it has a USB Type-C port here at the bottom. Over here we have a battery connector, a commissioning push button, power reset button, then our LEDs up here, uh, the UART LEDs, sleep, association, and the RSSI LED. Over here we have some headers. Uh, what you can do is if you flip this switch on and then you can you measure the current through these headers here. Over here on the right we have a bunch of headers that map to the pins here on the XB socket and if you look at the back side there's actually a diagram of what the different pins connect to. Continuing on the front we have a header for an I squared C growth sensor. These dip switches can be set to route data either through the USB port or out of these headers. All right, here we have the through hole version of the XBIB C development board. And one important thing to note is that in addition to the USB Type C port down here, it also has a micro USB port here for usage with XB cellular modules and USB direct connection. This is useful for updating the cellular modem chipset firmware on your XB3 cellular modules. And to use this, you will need to connect both this port and this port, and then set these dip switches to enable USB direct connection. 
Additionally, on the through-hole version here, you can see that we have some more pin headers which will map directly to these pin sockets here.